but let's not breeze over the Ross Chastain stuff. I don't want to get too far down to it because I'll just use this analogy. I feel like Ross Chastain is the modern day Ernie Irvin and any, any fan, this is a little bit before my time. I didn't really follow Ernie's career, but the more I read up on Ernie Irvin is Ernie was a mid pack, was a mid pack driver driving for mid pack teams, but he had flashes of brilliance, right? People within the industry knew like you get Ernie a good car, like he's going to have the speed and going to get the job done. He gets that shot with Morgan McClure in the four Kodiak car, Kodak car, had a couple poles. Um, I think he won a race or two there. And then he gets a shot with the 28 and then business picked up with Robert Yates. And with that being said, that's what Ross did, right? Grounded in trucks, grounded in Xfinity, gets a shot at Chip Ganassi racing. Doesn't win there, but people see like, oh, Ross can get the job done. Now, what we're seeing, we're only 15 races or how many races we are into the season. Ross is racing the pointy end of the garage. Like that is the tip of the spear of guys that he's racing with. Joey, Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Larson, guys that have won championships before. Now Ross finds himself in a good enough car to race with those guys every week. And it is a bit of adjustment. Like those guys race different than the guys he's been used to for his entire career. So I think that, you know, he was talking about these rookie mistakes. He was really hard on himself after the race in his post-race interview, almost too, like, I think he was too hard on himself. Like, well, my man's hauling ass right now, racing against good guys. And when, hey, Denny Hamlin, sorry, you're not fast enough, <laughs> shipped. 